Hi, welcome to week 10. Uh, this week is welcome to my website video. Um, so we have now made a complete website, entire portfolio, awesome. You should have by now emailed me a uh, link to your website, the URL of your website. If you haven't sent that, please do that. Uh, now that you have a complete portfolio website, in the in the last five weeks, we will be um, adding a few extra things like uh, welcome video, uh, connecting to social media and thinking through our social media strategies, and then doing some revising, um, having you test your own website and then having our classmates take a look at our websites and give us feedback. Um, I hope that you will leave this class not just with a I barely made a first draft video, but with a really uh, robust second, third, fourth draft vi uh, video website. Um, the more you comb over it, the, the more rough edges you can kind of sand into a really nice piece. Um, so this week is let's make a welcome video. Uh, we are, after all, visual artists, not performing artists and pointing cameras at ourselves and talking to them for many of you is is might be your least favorite activity of the whole semester uh, but I think it's really important we live in a world realistically where a great many people are going to meet you um, or discover your work through a mediated space online through a website Instagram TikTok, whatever before they ever see your work hanging physically on a wall, before they ever meet you face to face. So when a curator at an art gallery, an HR director at an animation studio, a creative director or an art director at an ad agency, uh, a, a couple getting married that needs a wedding photographer, the list goes on of collectors and, and commercial applications. But all of these people are very likely to see your work online, before they ever see it face to face, before they ever get to talk to you as a person. So having a little 20 second, hi, I'm actually human and I'm happy you're looking at my work video really helps. Um, yes, we all crave uh, face to face connection. Two really quick stories. Uh, actors, as you might know, when uh, someone's casting a part for anything, a little tiny commercial or a great big film or anything, uh, they have a casting call and lots of actors come down and audition for the roles. Well, they don't do that anymore since COVID, but now even in our semi post COVID time, uh, it's self tapes. Uh, when there's a role that goes out, actor gets a notice, they get their phone, they maybe get a little phone tripod or something, and they read the part to their phone. Um, these are often dialogue scenes, me talking to somebody else. So some people try to have another human there uh, to read lines with them, another actor friend. In many cases, they actually get, they either just, they just wing it or they have somebody on another phone who's somewhere else reading lines to them. It's all kind of detached, but that's how it works now. Uh, on the other hand, this is already a years ago story, but when the founders of Google, Larry Page and Sergey Brin, uh, were told, as founders often are, that they needed adult supervision. In other words, they needed to hire a CEO who was an experienced CEO, a manager of corporations, not uh, a couple of computer science kids who came up with something cool. Um, they made the rounds in Silicon Valley and they interviewed a whole lot of people. And they ended up hiring Eric Schmidt, which turned out to be a good choice for a lot of reasons. but. One of the key reasons that they hired him was, besides the business experience and all that stuff, uh, they liked him because he had been to Burning Man. They didn't meet him there, they, but just that was a, a personal connection that, that was important to them. So it's always personal, but we don't get to be face-to-face -face personal as much anymore. And even your work, again, the gallery curator is very likely to see your work for the first time on a website, not hanging on a wall, uh, and the same for commercial projects. So I know you probably don't really want to make videos, many of you, some of you do, um, 
but I think it's really valuable. A 20 second video is not a big deal. I've put a page on our website which gives you lots of info about how to use your phone, which is what most of you, a better camera is nice, but a phone is great these days, and most of you, that's what you have. Um, so being, being close gets you better sound. Uh, when, you're, when you're working with your phone, you do wanna look at the phone to make sure you look good, look at the phone, but then when you're actually making your video, you wanna look not at the screen, but at the camera. Uh, I make this mistake all the time, right? I talk to the screen instead of the camera. But when you're close, and if this is your phone, and you know, the screen is, <laughs> the screen is here and the camera's up here. When you're looking here, it's, this is like, it's like me looking to the screen here. It's, it's a little more connected if I'm looking at the lens. So um, give it a shot, have fun. Uh, let me know if you have questions and, and if you haven't already, please be sure to email me the URL of your website. Congratulations on completing a complete portfolio website. It's super awesome. Have a great week. Uh, also, as you know, we're doing round two of Zoom one-to-one -one meetups, so I'll see many of you this week. Uh, looking forward to it. Have a great week.